Hey y'all, Matt here from RetroOnly.com. Today I'm going to be answering another common question that we hear here on our channel and then also on our website, RetroOnly.com, about the Nintendo Switch. And that question is, how do you charge the Switch or the Switch Joy-Cons controllers with the Switch dock? Now if you've been around the Switch for a while, been around gaming for a while, you might not understand why this question is so important. But to many people, the Switch is a brand new console. It might even be the first game console they've ever owned. And it works totally different than any of the other current consoles on the market. So it can be a little bit confusing to people. So I wanted to shoot this short video and explain that. Before we get to that, please be sure to like this video and then also subscribe to our channel. It really does help us out a lot. And it also allows other people all around YouTube and the internet to get the answer to their question through these videos here that we're publishing on YouTube. So on to the question, how do you charge the Nintendo Switch and the Nintendo Switch controllers with the Switch dock? So let's jump into that. To charge your Switch and your Switch controllers with the Switch dock, it just takes a couple things. First, it takes you to have your Switch dock or to have an adapter. Most people, this will come right in the box, but if you lose this, break this, you can purchase an adapter on places like Amazon that you can use instead of this. But traditionally what you'll do is you'll just open up right the back on your Switch dock. And inside of there, there will be three different spots where you're gonna plug things in. So you have one that's labeled USB, one that's labeled HDMI out, and then one that's labeled AC adapter. So for the AC adapter, you're simply going to plug in your Nintendo charger that comes inside the switch box as well. And then you can, this is also how you can use, put your HDMI from the TV to your Nintendo switch dock. So that way you can play your Nintendo switch on your TV. So you, if you're just gonna charge, you're not, you don't have to connect the HDMI, but you're literally just gonna plug the AC adapter right into the back of here. Then what you're going to do is you're simply going to sl slide the switch right down inside of there. Now, if you'll notice, if you get it wrong, it won't go down. To get it right, you just simply center it and it simply sets right down there. There's nothing special that you have to do. There's not a special button that you have to push or a way that you have to exactly get it to catch just right. As long as it slides down on there and goes down, just like you'll see there, then it's on the charger and it's on the dock. You'll know that it's able to be charged or it's charging if you have it connected to the HDMI and it's working on your TV, that means your switch is connected to the dock. And as long as you're plugged into the power, which you'd have to be to be streaming to your TV, then the switch and the chargers will be charging. Now, if you have your switch controllers disconnected, if you have your joy cons disconnected and you have them say on this controller, or you just have them separate and you have them on your wrist straps to charge them, all you have to do is simply slide them onto your switch while it is docked. And that's all you have to do to charge them, is you simply do it just like that. That's how easy it is to charge with your Switch dock. Now, if you broke your dock, or if you're not wanting to charge with your dock because you don't use your dock very much, you can also charge just simply by plugging your Nintendo AC adapter right into the bottom of your Nintendo Switch, like so. This will charge not only your Switch, but also the controllers if they're connected. The controllers do work quite well. They keep a charge very, very well, especially if the switch is brand new. So you shouldn't have to worry about charging them every single day. Most people, unless you play a lot, can go multiple days without charging your joy cons. Um, but it depends on how you play it. If you play it like this, it will obviously use less battery on the joy cons than if you constantly play with it separated and play with your switch docked into the TV. So simply to charge the switch, all you have to do is slide it right down in the dock like so. And as long as your controllers are attached, that will start charging your switch and start charging your controllers as long as you have the dock plugged into the wall using your AC adapter. Hopefully that answered your question about how to charge the switch and the Joy-Con controllers or the switch controllers with your Nintendo Switch dock. If you do have any other questions, you can feel free to comment on this video or comment on any of our videos here on our channel. We do try and answer every single person who leaves a comment if the comment is, especially if it's a question, if it's just a random comment, you know, you like the video, those sorts of things. We do appreciate those as well, but we don't always comment back on those. So, but if you do have any specific questions, feel free to comment below. You can also check out our website, retroonly.com, and we're happy to help on there as well. Again, my name is Matt from retroonly.com. Please be sure to like this video and then also subscribe to our channel. Have a great day.